Welcome to SnowRunner, guys. For those of you who don't know, SnowRunner is a super intense off-roading game. If you've seen some of my previous videos that I made way back in the day on things like Spin Tires or Mud Runner, SnowRunner is actually the newest game in the series, and it just came out. The guys from SnowRunner actually sponsored today's video, which is super, super cool. Mega props for them. It's available on the PC, Xbox One, and the PS4. If you'd like to check out SnowRunner for yourself, click the link in my description and jump into the game today. That is exactly what we're gonna do today. I have come in and done some practice just to make sure the game works all fine, and today, we're actually gonna start a completely new game. Welcome to Michigan. Thank you for joining our recovery and maintenance effort after the devastating flood. We need all the help available to repair the bridge that collapsed. It's our only link to the other side of the river. And then we've got down below our objectives. First, you'll need to find a watchtower to get a better view of your surroundings. Then you'll have to find a truck capable of transporting the materials needed to repair the bridge. And then after the bridge is repaired, you'll be able to reach your first garage where we can do some truck customization. Yeah, we will get back to that. Anyway, so if you've never played Spin Tires or Mud Runner or Snow Runner before, this is a super, super intense off-roading game. For those who have never seen this before, basically what you've got is super like articulate ground so when your tires dig into the mud and stuff they truly dig into the mud anyway so up in the distance we can see our first objective which is to find the watchtower and open up our map here which will allow us to see our surroundings a little bit because this is all we've sort of got right now in our little chevy anyways so mud runner is one of those games where you've got all these challenges available to you in these huge huge maps and you can sort of do these challenges at your own pace in any way that you want. Hopefully we won't need to do any winching or anything like that right at the start, but I would imagine we will... Yep, I imagine we'll get stuck in some things. That is definitely gonna happen today. And there it is. There is our first watchtower, which will open up our map considerably. Let's drive in here, open it up. And let's see what we've got. Looking good. So we've got a house just down there. If I open up my map, you can see how much stuff opens up here. So we can see we've got a lumber mill over here. We've got a big old truck. That's actually a GMC over there. All right, so why don't we start off by going and getting that truck? Nothing too difficult to get over there. Let's just try to find ourselves a safe path all the way down. I gotta say as well, like, look how good this game looks with the sun like coming down between all the trees and like the light bouncing off. It looks awesome. Like I was saying though, for those of you who haven't ever played one of these types of games before, these maps are massive and SnowRunner brings it to an all new level. There are 11 enormous maps in this game. If you've played MudRunner before, you would know how big the maps were in that game. Well, in SnowRunner, the maps are up to four times bigger, which is insane. It's going to take a really long time to get from point A to point B. Anyways, here is our next truck, our good old GMC MH9 something something. So let's jump in the big old GMC. That's looking awesome. And let's do our second contract, which is to repair this old bridge down at the bottom. So we need some metal planks, which we've got to go and pick up in the town storage and We've got some wooden planks, which we need to get at that lumber mill. So why don't we go and get that trailer and pick up everything in one shot? It might be a little bit more difficult, but it should be pretty fun. Let's go. So we've already arrived at the lumber yard. Let's toss the wood in and let's go. Oh, actually, I think that trailer over there already has wood for us. I don't know if we'll need this. Yeah, let's, let's unpack our cargo. Remove the cargo. Sorry. Goodbye. We don't actually need you. My bad. Don't get stuck on me, game. Okay, hold on, hold on. Am I really gonna need to winch in the tutorial? Like, are we for real? Pull the trailer to me. That's an easier way of going about... Actually, I might be... I might be properly stuck here. All right, pull the trailer to me. Yep, thank, thank you. Actually, if I could pull the trailer all the way to me... I'll be able to attach it. Keep on going. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but we are moving. Looking fantastic. Okay, look at that. We've got the trailer. 
All right, perfect. So now we can just release that and we can attach our trailer. That was perfect. Let's keep it going. All right, so where was that metal I needed? The metal was up uh, here in the town. Yeah, in the town store. Uh, we are looking good. I love the little details in this game. Look at, like, the smokestacks popping up with our exhaust. That looks incredible. And check out the interior view here, too. Like, look at the little details. I've got fingernails. I've never been excited about fingernails before, but here we are. We're really, we're going, like, less than five miles an hour. We are moving, though, which is good. If we could have some better tires... That would be incredible. I mean, one of the things, or actually two of the things in this game that there is, is customization. And that not only applies to, like, visual customization, whether that be changing up bumpers and tossing on, like, lights or horns and changing trailers, for example, and changing beds for your truck, but also changing the performance of your truck. Now, that's going to be something new to me. I don't know if we're going to be able to swap, like, all-wheel drive on, maybe better tires. That would be really nice. There's actually another trailer here, so... I didn't need to do all of that work and pick up this trailer and get stuck in everything. Oh, sorry about your garbage cans. Anyways, cargo, I will take my metal planks. Thank you very much. Looking fantastic. Now we've got our stuff. Now we've got to head down to the old bridge and it looks like it's a pretty simple drive on some tarmac. I think you can see what I mean though. There's definitely other ways of like taking on the challenges than what we've done like obviously we didn't need to pick up that trailer as we we found out and we definitely didn't need to crash into that please tell me i can get out of here what can i please tell me i can winch to that tree over there oh man it's too far L low range gearbox please yeah that's um hold on i i think i need my other truck okay i'm gonna need to figure something out here because that's not looking good um guys sit rep i may have messed up massively here because even with the little chevy down there being used as weight i take back what i said thank you little chevy we are back on the road thank you you little blue beast. Where is my drop-off spot? It is just up here. Let's go. Here is the old bridge. We have arrived after some unfortunate events for sure. Let's uh, let's unload the metal. Looking fantastic. That's actually really, really cool. Perfect. And let's give you the wood as well. I'm going to try to be lazy with this. And give you the wood. Thank you very much. Oh, we saved it. We've saved it. Fantastic. So we get some money for that and some stars. Perfect. And now we should have our garage all the way over here. Perfect. Okay. Detached trailer. I don't need you anymore, buddy. I'm sorry. I will leave you there for a rainy day. Oh, you can see, yeah, there is something massively wrong with my truck. One of the crashes has had a pronounced effect on the way this thing drives. I think that's another truck for us. Garage has been discovered. Let's jump in and see what we get. We get some money for discovering the garage. And yeah, we do find that truck for ourselves. Perfect. Let's see what we got. Oh, perfect. We're in. We've got some customization here. We can upgrade our engine, our gearbox, suspension, tires, winch, diff lock. No way, we've got snorkels and frames and check out our stat bars down at the bottom. Power to weight ratio is an A. If we toss in the other engine, it's an A+. That is super cool. Our gearbox, balanced high range off-road suspension, stock or lifted, 47 inch all-terrain highway tires, off-road tires, chained tires. That is awesome. Winch stock, medium, extended, advanced, high powers, diff lock. Oh, oh, and then we can see our trucks in here too because we've got our truck storage. So we've got a con marshal. I don't know what that is. So truck store, we can buy other trucks in here. Chevys, Chevys, Fords, GMs. No way. Look at all the vehicles in here. That is so sick. A Hummer H2, a Scout 800? No way. Look at them all. 
this truck is not available in the USA. So that's what I mean by the other maps. That is crazy. There are so many different options. Anyways, I can jump into the global map here. I'm in Michigan where I've got all these maps. I've got Alaska, which I have a garage open for. And Timer, I believe is how you pronounce that. Probably not. All right. Well, welcome to Alaska. This now looks like SnowRunner. Look at this. Oh, this is so cool. This is an awesome little vehicle as well. Oh, man. I don't know if we're going to be able to go through that. Wait, wait. That's not water. That's ice. Yes, that's so sick. All right, so we should probably try to stay on course and follow that road so we can get the watchtower that somewhere behind those. Um, I'm drifting. I am drifting massively. Oh, this is just going to add a whole new element to this game that we've like never had before. This is sick. Hey, hey there is the watchtower. So let's go over to this thing and see if we can unlock it and get a little look at our map to properly see what's around. Oh, this is a big... Oh, this is a bigger drop than I thought it was. Um, try, let's try to come down here nicely, please. I, I've just spent a lot of time getting this vehicle. I don't want to... Lose it. Oh, this is so cool, though. I love this. The snow is, like, actually a game changer. That's so sick. All right, well, Watchtower discovered... Thank you very much. Now we get our first proper look of Alaska. And yeah, it, it, it's basically really, really snowy. Oh, there are a lot of things around here. If I go back into the contract section, there's some of the contracts that I can actually do right now. So there's pipeline construction, pipeline repair. So if I click this one, all I have to do is take over two service parts to the pipeline and that's it then i get some solid money for it all right so let's try not to get stuck i was actually assuming that that was not water i i looked at the water for two seconds and i thought it was ice if i can manage to not get stuck through this little journey that would be incredible look at that and back onto the road and a nice little drift to show for it perfect truck entrance they probably assume that this isn't really the truck that you would bring. I, I might need to jump into my other truck, which means I've just got to... Ah, man. Spin Tires is one of those brutal games where there is no fast travel. If you mess up and you go to the wrong place, you've got to... I didn't see that. You've got to get yourself out of this situation. So I've got to go drive back to the garage, jump in my other truck, and hope that I can actually get these service parts... So, sorry about your stop sign. All right, please tell me that this thing will work. Let's go head over to the pipeline thing. Jeez, the sun. That's insane. Let's go head over to the pipeline thing and see if we can pick up our service part. Somebody else apparently drove over that stop sign because it's actually... No. 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 No, I was doing a funny joke to take down the stupid sign. And I got stuck. Winch me out with the telephone pole. You know that whole, yeah, Canadians have an instinct to be able to drive into winter. Oh my God, my drive shaft is spinning. That's so sick. Stupid, stupid truck. We're never, ever, ever driving through the snow to be funny ever again, as it turns out. And we have arrived. Two service parts in. Thank you very much. I'm gonna head right back to the store. Apologies. If, if your spare parts are a little late. You know what? I, I would definitely say these missions would be a lot easier if I was playing online. You can play with four friends online and you can do like all of these challenges and all these missions with them, which is actually really cool. I, I think that may need to be something that I do in the future because apparently I can't drive very well off-road. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry about your fence. So to deliver the pipeline stuff, it looks like all I need to do is just drive up the paved road and I will arrive. Hopefully there's no secrets up there, but I think if we can do this, that would be a massive success. Oh no, we're going off road. Oh no, 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 no. This truck is genuinely the most useless thing I have ever seen in my life. Low range, push me, push me. I'm doing a solid half a mile an hour. 
I'm gonna be here all day. If I could have all wheel drive or better tires, this would be a thousand times easier. Or just like my other truck, that would have been good too. Actually, you know what? I probably could have taken my other truck, used a trailer, gotten this stuff and then pulled it to the pipeline. That probably would have been a better idea. It's not like I've gone very far. That building in the background, that's the garage. I'm just, come on. All right, and we're back up to speed. Pipeline is looking good. Let's pull over. Cargo management. Enjoy. Hey, the pipe's fixed. Look at that. That's really cool. We've done one of these challenges. Not to mention all of the other categories. Not to mention the other maps. Not to mention the other places in the world. We would have so much stuff to do. Like, here's this other place. We haven't even been here yet. This has been Russia, apparently. That's where I'm gonna wrap this up for today. That was your first look at SnowRunner. A super, super cool game with so many things to do. So many locations. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to SnowRunner for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check this game out for yourself, click the link in my description. Jump in on PS4, Xbox One, or the PC. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon.